Hello everyone, I'm Crow Tom, and in this video we're going to see how we can make our own hacking lab. We're going to make it with VMware Workstation Pro 12, but uh, it is this, uh, more or less the same process with the Oracle VirtualBox, which is free. The VMware one is, of course, uh, paid, and you have to find an original key to install it. Because I have one from my university, I thought that it will be a nice touch to make my lab in the VMware workstation. So the other things that we're going to need are the Kali Linux ISO from the kali.org slash downloads. Uh, you can see, you can find your own distribution that you want to install. And next we are going to need for a first step the Metasploitable VM, which is ready to run in a virtualization program. So to start, we have here the VMware Workstation Pro setup, uh, the last version, and we can no, we don't want this, and it's, it is just a simple installation. So yes, we want to check for updates. No here, and as easy as this, we started the installation process. So now that the installation has finished, let's license the program. Here is my key. Let me paste it, enter, and I am ready. Let's open it. And as you can see here, I am ready to start. Okay, we have some updates. Uh, here we have my old VMs, <coughs> but I have deleted them, so, uh, okay, let's wait for the update. Now that the update has finished, let's create the first VM, so for the Metasploitable VM, we just have to open a virtual machine because it is ready to run in a virtualization program. So I have it uh, here. Okay, and we open the VMX file, the only file that we uh, it is going to show up. And here we have the Metasploitable 2. So now let's make the setup of the Kali Linux VM, which is a bit bigger because we have to completely install the OS. Uh, to do so, uh, let's go to the file menu and the new virtual machine. And now let's select the typical uh, configuration, next, and in the inst installer disk image file, we go and select uh, the Kali Linux ISO that we downloaded earlier. Uh, so now we select next, Linux, and uh, we select the Ubuntu 64-bit or uh, any other Linux OS. We, we can just use the other Linux 3.x kernel, but I'm going to use this for the configuration. Let's give it a name. Uh, let's give the location that we want it to be stored in our disk. Uh, I'm going to save it in my VMs folder here. And we hit next. Uh, we are going to make a, a disk of 20 or more gigabytes. Uh, you are going to decide it and we are going to split the virtual disk into multiple files. Next, let's customize the hardware. Here we have the RAM that we are, I'm going to give it a 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, processors, I'm going to give it 1, okay, uh, with 1 core or cores. Uh, no, let's give it 1. Here we have the <coughs> ISO that we are going to install the Kali and 
for the network adapter we're going to use a NAT which is used to share the host IP addresses uh, with this way we are going to have uh, a LAN that we're going to connect the Metasploitable with Kali but we're going to see this in a later episode so let's close this, let's hit finish and now let's power on this virtual machine ok, here we have the boot menu and we select install ok now we select the language and the where we are for the time and date now it loads the appropriate files that we need we set a root password we re-enter it and now uh, we are going to set the partitioning method I, I'm going to use the entire disk because it is a VM and we are going to need the amount of storage that we set it up earlier and this is yes and we are going I, I am going to use all files in one partition you can separate the home partition all, or separate uh, all the other the home var and TMP partitions but I am going to just use all the files from one partition because it is a VM and I'm going to finish I like these uh, settings okay right changes and the installation starts so now, now that the installation has finished of the files uh, we will have to configure the package manager we hit here yes Okay, we don't need an HTTP proxy for now and now it is configuring the apt now we are installing the grab bootloader and now the installation of Kali Linux is complete we hit continue to finish the installation and we are ready to run our virtual machines so let's run the Metasploitable VM also here to be ready after the installation here finishes as you can see here <coughs> the Metasploitable it starts immediately and now we are ready to start as you can see the login credentials are the msf admin for username and msf admin for password so let's try it And as you can see, we have uh, admin privileges here, and the installation here uh, needs a bit more. Okay. And now we are ready to start our Kali Linux VM. Okay, now we are ready to login let's see and we have completely boot up uh, our two uh, VMs that uh, they are our own hacking virtual lab so for example here we can see that uh, if we have if uh, config uh, we have this IP address which is 
different from uh, my uh, real network IP address and let's do an nmap scan to find the metasploitable uh, VM and to show you that uh, it is a completely uh, connected uh, virtual lab and of course you can see here this IP address with all these vul vulnerabilities and which are uh, which is the metasploitable VM uh, of course we do not have to connect this VM uh, into our local uh, network because and we have to make a virtual network because as you can see it has many vulnerabilities and we are uh, really vulnerable uh, in our network and of course on the internet because it runs uh, the an Apache web server it has many vulnerabilities that we are going to exploit in a later video so thank you for watching build your own virtual lab and tell me your ideas uh, how you saw this video and uh, of course all these are for educational purposes thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel goodbye